What is up, guys? Put your head here. There we go. Alright, so, sitting here at my local. Um, what day is it today? It's, uh, it's Thursday. So, I've got five weeks and two days until the show. Prep's going well. Right now, I'm feeling hungry, as I do most mornings. Um, it's just a feeling that I've had to get used to, and it's all worth it at the end of the day. I actually, funnily enough, I'm actually getting comfort in feeling hungry because I know I'm doing the right things because um, it's not going to be easy getting shredded. So, yeah, I mean, if, if I said I was 10% body fat um, a couple of weeks ago, well, who knows, it might be at 9, it might be under 10%. I'm actually trying to find a JAXA scan place in Christchurch so I can get one. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to. Most of them are just for body de uh, bone density, so it's it's weird. They don't see it as a feasible option to test your body fat unless it's like a specific place to do that, like the place in Melbourne. So uh, we'll see about that. And then, as always, I'm going to go from here, just around the corner, into Anytime Fitness, and go smash a workout. Um, yeah, holiday's half over. Fuck, it sucks. But it's insane that it's been nice to just be able to chill. Um, you know, I've had a base where, where my dad lives. I've just been able to stay there, wake up whenever I want, go for walks, have that place to prep my meals, just chill out if I want. So it's been really good. And I haven't had to worry about work, so that's been a bonus. So, yeah, I mean... The mood's awesome, I'm getting excited, more and more excited as the days go on for the show. Um, there's no way I'm pulling out. I can't wait. Um, as far as training goes, while I've been here, I've been training every single day. Um, I've been weight training in the mornings and with cardio afterwards. If I don't weight train in the mornings, I'll just go and do a walk first thing. And uh, basically, quite, quite a few of the nights I've sort of had to save my macros throughout the day so that I can um, eat a nice dinner with the family. So like for example last night we went out to have some suvalakis, I saved, I just ate protein throughout the day, ate about 60, 80 grams of protein, maybe like 60 grams of carbs and a few grams of fat and then I went out and had that dinner and knew that I could be sweet. Um, but then what happens is after the dinner, I, I do still have those guilty feelings, even though I am within my macros. So then what I do is I'll, on the way home, I'll go past Anytime Fitness and either do another cardio session just to keep on top of it, just to make sure I, you know, because fuck, this is serious shit. Um, so either cardio or I'll go and smash another weight session. And that'll be probably the better weight session of the day because I've already had this food in me. So. Theoretically, it'd be best if I could wait all day, have a big feed, and then go and train, but I can't wait. I just want to train first thing in the morning when I get it out of the way. So that's just me, and that's what I'm going to do now after my coffee. So, here it is now. Two sweeteners, read the coffee news, and I'll see you in the gym. I walk a lonely road, the only one that I have ever known. Don't know where it goes, but it's home to me, and I walk alone. I walk alone, I walk alone. I walk the city street on the boulevard of broken dreams. The city sleeps and I'm the only one that I walk alone. I walk alone, I walk alone. I walk alone, I walk alone. My shadow's the only one that walks beside me My shallow heart's the only thing that's beating Sometimes I wish someone up there will find me Till then I walk alone The engine where I walk 
Cardio, as per usual, every morning, first thing that comes into my head, put my shoes on, drink my coffee, and go for a walk. It's a great mentality, it's a great mindset, starts the day off right, and I'll tell you what, when I start bulking again, I reckon this is going to be something I continue. And that's really funny because I went for years saying cardio wasn't necessary, and it's not really, but as far as your mindset and as far as setting up your day right and giving yourself the best opportunity to be positive etc I think a walk is definitely a good thing to do so that's what I'm doing today five weeks out what day does it say no, it's Friday today so <clears throat> yeah you saw me train some shoulders uh, yesterday and today We've got some exciting things to do. I am going to go and pick up my first samples of some t-shirts that I'm getting designed. Um, that's why I really wanted the logo before I came to New Zealand because I knew that I was going to go and try and sort out some t-shirts, sort out some apparel that's more so for me just to wear like in my videos, um, especially the ones where I'm facing the camera all the time. So that's going to be awesome. Um, Got a couple of different ideas i know the font that i'm going to be used using and um i know the colors and stuff so yeah i can't wait to show you i've i've put my order in told them what i want so i'm going to go pick it up later today and uh that's exciting um a uh, bit of self-promotion in the gym never went astray so yeah i'm just rolling with it jake does fitness who knows where it's going to end up i've told all my family about it they all know I've showed them all the logo, I've showed them the videos and shit. 
they're all really supportive which is awesome and fuck it just makes me even more keen to sort of get back to Australia as soon as I as soon as I can um, start a personal training certificate because no point having all this this branding and products and stuff if you can't even you know work with a client so I think that's what I really want to do I've talked to a few personal trainers in a couple of gyms here like pick their brain a little bit um, and they said they also said you know how many personal trainers are there at your gym and I said well there's one and they said well shit that's you know that's quite a good opportunity and I thought yeah well if I'm willing to stay in Alice Springs for another you know couple of years I guess I could develop the personal training side of things there um, but all the clients I get I'll probably know so that's I don't know I fuck I feel bad taking money off them man like 70 bucks an hour like I mean it's it's what you pay see some people pay even more but it just seems like a lot you know but uh, it's still part of the business so lots of things to look forward to I'll uh, keep walking I'm trying to hit at least 10 to 12,000 steps a day um, so this work this uh, this walk I won't go back home until until I'm up to about 5,000 um, and then it just set, sets me off on the right path for the day as I said so I can hardly talk I've only just woken up but yeah hope you're all training hard hope you're all going good five weeks out and I'll show you when I get those t-shirts because they're gonna look mint oh, and that's another thing everyone keeps telling me I've brought the bad weather here it's been like fuck all good weather for me to take not only the drone out but also the car of course the Corvette I can't fucking wait I haven't driven it yet it's been like a week and a half I'm going crazy but hopefully tomorrow being Saturday I've already penciled it in it's meant to be good weather I get the drone all charged take the car out and show you guys uh, a little bit more of my hometown really looking forward to it